Hi everybody, welcome to Reading with Mrs. Degagne. Today we're going to talk about a monarchy and a democracy. So a monarchy is when you have one person who rules, like a king, like say a lion, a king of the jungle. And then you have a democracy who might, and that's when a, people get together or animals in a jungle if they want to change something. And so when you have a democracy, it means the majority decides who should rule. And they might pick, instead of a king, they will now have a president. So today I'm going to read you a story about that. This is The President of the Jungle by Andre Rodriguez, Larissa Ribeiro, Paula Desqualdo, and Pedro Marcun. Hey, what happened to our river? Lion wanted a swimming pool. So because he was king of the jungle, he rerouted the river to flow into his front yard. Now he had his pool. It's ridiculous. Lion thinks only of himself. The other animals were not happy. They missed their river. Lion had gone too far. Maybe he should not be king of the jungle. What if we had a new leader? Let's protest. We have no water. My children are thirsty. The animals decided to have a demonstration. They marched to Lion Swimming Pool to protest. Water is for everyone. The king needs to go. But Lion couldn't care less what they thought. So the animals decided it was time for a new leader. No more kings. Let's be a democracy. Let's hold an election. What's an election? In an election, anyone who wants to be the leader can become a candidate and put together a campaign. Each animal gets a vote for the leader. The candidate who gets the most votes becomes president. Everyone liked the idea, so they drew up the rules for the election. Rules for the election. We will hold an election every spring. Any animal can be a candidate. Each animal gets one vote. Votes are secret. The candidate with the most votes wins. Candidates cannot trade gifts for votes. Candidates cannot eat their opponents. Monkey, Sloth, and Snake were excited to become candidates. Lion didn't want to be left out, so he became a candidate too. Then the campaigns began. That lion has some nerve. King of the jungle, vote for lion, VP Lioness. My beloved subjects, I descend from a long line of kings. It was my cherished great-great-grandfather who expelled the smelly possums so the rest of us could live in peace. I provided jobs to the animals who diverted the water from the river to build my swimming pool. If something is not broken, do not fix it. For tradition, vote for lion. It is time for change. Monkey for president, VP Toucan. It's time for lion to go. The king is sneaky and is as slippery as a rotten banana peel. He said we could all swim in his pool, and now we can't. Under my leadership, everything will be different, and we will build burrows and homes for everyone. No more lies. Monkey for president. She doesn't just promise, she delivers. Snake for president. VP Mouse. I am a popular snake. I grew up in the jungle with all of you. I've crawled through burrows and nests getting to know you. We have faced the great drought together, and we have survived fires and hunters. You know I will be there for you. Vote for Snake. Make your vote count. Choose me, Sloth, for president, VP Ladybug. My fellow animals, it is time to plan our future together. I want to hear from all of you. And please don't judge me by my name. I am not lazy. I don't rush because good government does not happen overnight. With patience, we will make the jungle better for everyone. Vote for Sloth. Each candidate got busy trying to convince the voters why they would be the best leader. They went on TV, took selfies with voters, handed out pamphlets, discussed the issues. They held rallies. Some said wild things about the other candidates. They put up posters and discussed more issues. 
They had debates to talk about their ideas. Snake, how would you solve the bird traffic jams? Easy, every bird will be assigned a time to fly. Why don't we ask the birds what they think? Who cares, just tell those high flyers what to do. And sometimes they just argued. Snake is venomous. Well, nobody is better than me. Lion is selfish. Hey, I didn't finish what I was saying. Finally, election day arrived. The animals lined up to cast their secret votes in the ballot box. Owl was in charge of counting the votes. Unfortunately, Lion got disqualified for violating rule number six. He had been giving voters peanuts, so they'd choose him. When the votes were added up, the new president was announced. It was Sloth. The animals all gathered to hear Sloth's victory speech. In this election, I learned so much from everybody. We each have something to say, and we all should listen. Lion wants to be recognized for all his work. Monkey wants us to have food and shelter. Snake and I agree we are stronger when we work together. The first thing I will do as president is create a team to help us make the jungle a great place for every animal. And that is the story of how Sloth became the jungle's first president. Of course, not everyone was happy with the election results. So it was a good thing that there would be another election next year. I like that story because it showed me that we all have a say, we all have a choice, and we all have the ability to make our world a better place. So what are you going to do today to make your world a better place? Take care. I'll see you next time on Reading with Mrs. Degagne. Bye.